Hi, and welcome to TouchView Interactive. Let's take a quick look at how we can save a whiteboarding file using our SWrite software so that we can save it and be able to edit it and open it up at a later time. So right now I'm on that PC side of the panel, so to go to the Android home screen, pretty easy, just go ahead and hit that home button. That's always gonna take you over to the Android side of the panel that acts as our operating system. So we'll launch into our SWrite software. So now I can pull up my pen tool and maybe today in class we're gonna take some quick notes or we're uh, in a meeting. So I'm just gonna kind of populate this with some content here real quickly. I can add multiple pages to my whiteboarding file if I want to. So that's a good way to be able to have multiple pages, kind of creating a flip chart presentation. So now maybe I wanna go ahead and save that content. One way to be able to save that content is if I come over to my little ellipsis menu down here in the corner, I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna say I wanna save that. So in this case, I'm gonna give this a unique file name. Pull up my keyboard here, and we'll just call this uh, demo number one. Also pay attention to your save path. Now it's gonna to default to that uh, right board or the whiteboarding file in your Android directory structure. In this case, I'm gonna to wanna to select an IWB file. That's an interactive whiteboard file. So that's gonna allow me to be able to open this up and be able to save it and edit it at a later time. So we'll go ahead and save that out. And now we can go look at where that file is located. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this and we'll go to our uh, file folder manager here. And that's gonna allow me to select that whiteboard and there's our demo 01.iwb file. So I can go ahead and select that. And if you notice, if I try to select it, it's gonna say it's not supported with that. So how do I open that up? Well, just simply go ahead, launch back into SWrite. And now I can come over to that ellipsis menu and I'm gonna say I wanna import notes. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna go back to that whiteboarding file, select that and then say insert. And that's gonna open up my content so that I can continue editing it.